In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can capture job submissions via your Webflow form into Airtable using Zapier. Also, we'll create a nice little approval step as well, so you can review jobs before you end up posting them back on your site. You'll probably need about 10 minutes for this tutorial, and when you're ready, let's jump in. Okay, to start off this video, we are going to want to go to wherever our form is located within our Webflow job board site. If you're using a template, then you might be looking at something like this and you'll find your page under the pages tab on the left hand side. And in this case it is pages and then the submit a job page. Here you have a number of inputs. So we'll have the capture for name, email, company name, job title, etc. What we're going to want to do is take the information captured from this form. So if we just go to the published version of this site quickly to show you. So when somebody actually inputs this form and presses submit, where does that information go? We need to actually have a place to capture it. And then from there, we can go on to do a bunch of other stuff. So for this use case, we're going to use Airtable. And if you haven't used Airtable before, then just take a pause, go and set up an account with Airtable. It's completely free and start a new base with a blank table to start with. Once you've done that, we are going to want to add in these following headings. Now notice that most of these, apart from status, match completely with the information we're capturing in the form. That's really important. You want to match up one to one with what you're capturing with the column headers in here. And the status is that gives us an extra review step, which we're going to talk about in a minute. So once you've got these set up, we're going to want to go and connect the two together. And for that, we're going to use a tool called Zapier. So open up Zapier. And again, if you haven't got a Zapier account, pause this and go and get set up. And then once you're in this screen here, once you're logged in and ready to go, go over to the top left and press make a zap. You'll see this screen. Let's give, up a, let's give our zap a name. First off, we're going to call this Makepad job board submissions tutorial. And for our first trigger is going to be Webflow. And our trigger event is going to be to form submission. And the trigger is basically exactly how it sounds, a trigger. So when this thing happens, do something else. So the trigger is when our form submission happens. Press continue. You may need to connect your Webflow account. I'll show you how to do that. Press connect. And if you're logged in, you can go and select the site that you want to use and press authorize. There we go. We need to choose the latest one and then press continue. Choose the site name, choose the form name. And something to note here that this will the, the form will only ever show if you've already submitted the form once. So if it's not showing, likelihood is you haven't published the site and submitted your form. So go back to the form and submit it once. Once you've done that, it will show in here. So we've got our submit job form and then press continue. Now you want to test the trigger. Pressing test trigger will hopefully bring up a result which you sent through previously. What we're going to do is fill it in again so you can see the new piece of information come through. Okay, once you fill it in, press submit. Great, the submission has been received. Let's see if we can get that through to Zapier now. Press submission and press load more. Submission B, and there we go. We're looking for epic content creators to join us at Makepad. Nice. Now press continue. And our second part of this app is going to be the action. What is going to happen next? Well, we want it to go to Airtable. So look for Airtable. Again, we're going to press create record, press continue. Connect your Airtable account if you haven't done so already. Then press continue. 
We're going to search for our base. And then find our table. The table will have a name similar to the one here, which is located at the top left hand corner of your air table. And then what we need to do is map across the field. So for company name, it's fairly self-explanatory is company name. So you can do it by seeing more and clicking on that. That will map the result from your Webflow form into Airtable. You can also do it by searching. So email status. Now this is the one which doesn't come from our Airtable form. We have created two statuses here called review and approved. So every new status we want to be able to review before we post it. So let's put review into this field here. Job title is content creator job description. You can find that here. Location and so on and so forth. <coughs> Once you've mapped all the fields successfully, go ahead and press continue and then press test and continue. And if we've done everything right, we should see this inside of our Airtable. Nice. So now we have a job being submitted from our Webflow job board site into an Airtable, which allows us to then manually review which jobs we want to actually put on the site and then take it from there. One thing you might want to do before we wrap up here is actually create a new view. So maybe we just want to see the jobs that we need to review. So we're going to change this name here of this view and rename it to needs review. And we're going to add another view and we're going to call this approved add to site. Okay, we want to add a filter to this view. So the filter, this filter will be where status is review, and this will be filter where status is approved. So once you check this out, maybe you want to open up this record, expand it a bit, see the full job description. Okay, this looks like all the fields that we need. We can then go ahead and approve this, and this will go out of this view and into this view, and then you can add it to your Webflow site. Hope this tutorial was useful. If you wanted to go ahead and try it yourself, then please go ahead and copy this example. It may not be exactly like for like on your form, but hopefully that explains how to do it. Enjoy.